The Max Cape. One of the most sought after items in the game. A year ago, I made this account with the end goal of earning this cape, and in today's episode of Making Dreams Come True, I take the biggest step towards that goal since this account's creation. There are two things required to achieve a max cape, money and time. In most cases, the more you have of one, the less you will need of the other. In today's episode, we're going to focus on one of those things, time. My name is Foley, and thank you for watching. Let's get started. All right, I am in some kind of skilling mood now, so I think I'm gonna do some pyramid plunder and try to get myself a pharaoh scepter for the collection log. I've only done pyramid plunder like a couple of times, so I kind of get the gist of things, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I hear the XP is uh, pretty decent. And that is the first thieving level, level 81 now. I've been going at it for uh, about two hours now. It's uh, pretty enjoyable. Once you get into the groove of things, it's pretty nice. I can actually, oh wait, I can uh, go to the next floor now so I don't have to loot this room anymore. Hey, level 82 thieving, let's go. Oh, and there is level 83 thieving. I've been at it for quite a while, almost 700,000 experience today. And I think I'm going to move on to something else for a little bit and come back to Pyramid Plunder on a later date. Alright, I've never done this before, but apparently it drains your money, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it costs about one mil to uh, get rid of, well, to make all these into unfinished potions, but that does save a lot of time. Alright, now to buy the secondaries and then make all these potions. There is level 82 herb lore. All right, that is all the herb lore done for me for right now. 300k XP just about, and about halfway to 83. All right, and I've decided that I want to go do some herbivore. Yeah, I've never done it, but I hear it's pretty easy and that the plugin really just tells you where to click and then it's kind of mindless. But uh, yeah, excited to go and try that and maybe get the pet. I know it's super rare, but that would be cool. Okay, so I'm bringing Full Graceful, the Magic Secateurs, the Ring of Endurance, and a TP to my house because I have the mounted uh, Excite Pennant over there. And then my Herb Sack to hold the herbs and some Stamina Pots. But yeah, I guess all you do is click to go to Fossil Island, then you'll go over to the tree, and then you will travel down to the Mushroom Meadow, and you will inspect this first rock, and it will tell you where to go, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Alright, and that is one hour of Herbivore complete. I was able to get 62 KC on it, so I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but it seems pretty good to me. Hey, level 81 Hunter! And that is on kill count number 100 as well. So that was pretty cool. All right. And like three hours later, it is the end of the night for me. I've gotten 370k Hunter XP clocking in at like 127k an hour, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty relaxing. I've gotten 178kc now. Pretty relaxing and nice for getting some passive herbs. So that... Whenever I do train herb lore, it won't be as expensive, but it'll still be expensive. But yeah, this is all I've gotten in the three hours of herbivore that I did. About 1.3 mil. So it's about 450k an hour, um, actually, GP, which uh, I guess isn't too bad for a uh, training method. All right, football has been watched, and I did not play at all yesterday besides you know, doing room crafting while watching football. So I am at level 87 room crafting and I did do a little bit of wood cutting and I'm now at level 92 wood cutting. And I did get a mining level while doing my room crafting. So that's just a little update. 87 room craft, 86 mining, 92 wood cutting. And we're here back at Herbivore looking to get some more hunter levels. There is level 82 Hunter. And there is level 83 Hunter. Alright, and that is going to do it for me on Herbivore today. I will be back there tomorrow. I've really been enjoying Herbivore. Um, it's just really chill. And I can watch YouTube videos pretty easily. And yeah, I'm not really sure how far I will go with it. 
I like the idea of getting base 90 stats, so maybe I'll go for 90. But yeah, I got uh, 391k XP today at 132 XP per hour. I now have 362 herbivore kills. And if you're wondering, I did 184 today for a total of about 1.4 mil. I also needed some, uh, some blood runes, so I'm here to hook them up. Yeah, so he was wanting 100,000 blood runes, so here we go. Easy, nice 20 mil. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I mean, it's I still have 106,000 left, but I just got to the 200,000 mark, so it's like kind of feels bad, but also it's all right. I still have fucking plenty. I'll never use all these until I get a fucking scythe or something. Motherfucker need to get out of the way. All right, there we go. Level 84 Hunter. Level 85 Hunter. Would you look at that? Only five more levels to 90. Fucking little like cave thing. Hey, level 86 uh, Hunter. Cool. Level 87 Hunter. We got three more levels to go now. We have 915 herbivore kills. So I think by the time I get to level 90, it'll probably, it'll probably be around 2000, I'd say. 1800 to 2000 is my guess and the first farm run i've done in a while is uh, level 86 farming i need to start getting on top of this so yep here i am holding myself accountable to do tree runs well that is one thousand herbivore right here very nice and if we look here we've gotten about 7.3 mil in herbs from a thousand herbivore i would say that is pretty good although i'm not gonna sell them i'm gonna actually use them to you know train herbivore but that is definitely quite a bit of fucking herbivore xp i might say yeah so i didn't connect two and two together until like just a little bit ago but yeah this leprechaun he will turn all these herbs into noted herbs so i can actually bring a lot more stamina pots and just Keep noting them. That way I don't have to go back to the bank so much. I wasn't going to the bank really too much anyways, but just staying here for a very long time feels better to me. But yeah, when my herb sack starts to uh, overfill, um, I will empty my herb sack and then just note everything. That way um, all my new drops will just flood into the herb sack. 88 hunter yeah i just did 6-0 when i did bandos i mean you're pretty much just doing nascar with 6-0 i mean that's pretty much what you're doing i mean make a better argument i mean that, that's my best analogy and speaking of nascar did you guys have a did you guys play a nascar game on like the nintendo 64 dude yeah it was some shit like that like dude I remember I just I only played the one on the Nintendo 64 but I don't even remember that much but I just remember having a lot of fun with it level 89 hunter and that is level 90 hunter there we go that is it took me 1510 herbivore to uh to get from 80 to 90 so that's pretty cool and the loot is almost 11 mil in herbs, which is a uh, pretty dope, I might say. Pretty dope. All right, let's see what the damage is. I'm sitting at 80 mil right now, so. Oh, so it only took like one mil, maybe up to like close to two mil. Not too bad. But all right, I am going to just make all these into potions and see where I get my herb lore level at. I am close to 83 at the moment. Level 83 Herblore. Hey, level 84 Herblore. Yeah, these boxes on the screen are just like indicators to help me know where to click every time I need to get another inventory. Makes things go uh, by a lot faster and with ease. All right, and from all the herbs I uh gotten from herbivore i got 439k xp still level 84 about halfway to 85 
Hey, if we look at that, that is kill count number 100 of the Corrupted Gauntlet. So let's see what we shall get. A crystal armor seed. Hey, that is a, that's actually a collection log slot. So that is a pretty cool, pretty fitting for 100 KC. They are currently worth a 5.2 mil, which is dope. But we only need the enhanced crystal weapon seed. And then we have the gauntlet green logged, which will uh, be exciting to see. Another uh, boss tab that is green logged. The only one I have so far is Hespori, which, uh, yeah, I got pretty spooned on. All right, and now that I have 9T Hunter, I think I'm going to go back to Pyramid Plunder for a while and try to get myself a scepter for the sake of collection logs. Hey, look at that! Pharaoh's scepter! Oh, very nice. That was, uh, that was not expected right there. But there we go. We got it. But yeah, I was only here for like an hour and a half today so far so that is pretty cool all right and since i already have one i'm just gonna go ahead and sell it for like 2.8 mil right and i guess the next thing I, I should do is uh pickpocket some buyers and try to get a blood shard so i just gotta set this over to swap left click pickpocket and we should be good to go hey level 84 thieving now to get the blood shard it is a one in five thousand chance to get it while pickpocketing so yeah pretty low chance that we get it but would uh, be cool to see well 85 thieving all right so here is the plan i am going to continue thieving after i get my you know tree run done of course but starting tomorrow i will be gone for a whole week where I won't have my computer, I'll just have my phone. So I think I'm gonna press pause on the thieving um, after today and start really working on room crafting um, in all my time, cause I'll just have my phone. So hopefully by the time I get back, I have 91 room craft so I can do the elite diaries. And then if I get the 91 room crafting, then I will move over to agility and hopefully get that up some levels and the off chance that i get both of them to 91 and 90 respectively then i will move over to herb lore but yep yeah, that is the plan and i will also be doing my tree runs during that week so the plan is to have level 90 farming as well but Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention, since I will be gone for that whole week um, with no computer, I can't do the Corrupted Gauntlet during those days. So after my tree run, I am going to be doing my whole week's worth of Gauntlet in just this one sitting. That way I have it out of the way and I'm not behind when I get back. Sounds good, sounds good to me. All right. Hey, level 88 farming. All right, and that is the last one. So let's see gauntlet number 15 all right well we didn't get anything uh through these 14 runs but i am now at 115 corrupted gauntlet kc and i guess we'll check the loot from these 14 that i did 2.2 mil yeah so uh not too bad and level 86 thieving okay so plans changed a little bit instead of getting 91 rune crafting i ended up just getting 90 rune crafting and that is because we had a clam bingo uh actually happened that i wasn't aware of until after i left to go house sitting but after looking at the bingo sheet which is right here um i decided to just go ahead and get the 90 rune crafting i got it before the bingo started and as the bingo started i went straight to agility and got the 1000 total laps on an agility course which i did at relica and we ended up getting to level 85 agility as well as obtaining enough marks of grace to get the skilling outfit so that was two uh tiles that i was able to get right there and then we went back to thieving i uh went back to pyramid plunder and we obtained a pharaoh scepter it was like 1.3 or 1.4 million xp um that it took me to get it but i am now level 89 about halfway there to level 90 and that kind of leaves me off to where i am right now 
Another update is that Malice bought all my blood runes. So these 53,000 that I have right now were all made from me house setting. Kind of sad to not have over 100k, but I mean, it did do good for our money. And I still have 53k at the end of the day. And I don't think I'll, you know, use that many for a while. But it's good to be back. The first thing I am going to do is do another farm run. Oh, speaking of that. Speaking of farm runs, um, I did end up getting level 90 farming, like I said I was going to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do my farm run, and then I think I'm going to go over to the Corrupted Gauntlet. There was a tile for 25 kills. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that all in one session, or if I'm going to space it out, or if other teammates are going to hop in and get a couple clears too. But yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just go in there and see what's up. All right, I got me a couple of kills at the Corrupted Gauntlet, and now I am back to Zora to get me a unique, because that is a tile, and I feel like I can get it pretty quickly. It's been a while since I've gotten a unique reward, so hopefully it's just right around the corner. Sorry, your <laughs> mic cut out. What'd you say? I, I want to I say it again. You can clip it for a soundboard. <clears throat> you ever just want to suck a dick? Hey, level 91 farming. All right. Um, yeah, so I'll just go to Zora real quick and, and get a unique drop, you know, really fast, you know. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm 201 kills in uh, from when I started this. And yeah, yeah, I have not seen anything. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. But yeah, just a bunch of Zora, nothing going on. And yeah, hopefully I get that drop soon. Yeah, so I just checked um in the last video and the last zora unique that i got was at kill count 397 and as you saw i i am at 701 now so i am like 300 kills total now without a unique drop there we go i'm at 833 kills finally and it's a fucking another it's a fucking dupe it's my third magic bang what this is stupid but we we got the towel we got the towel we're fine everything's cool <laughs> all right and we're just gonna we're gonna break this thing down we're gonna get ourselves 20k scales and that will actually bring me up to 177,000 zora scales and there is a level 92 farming look at that we're halfway there officially now look at that and it has come to my attention that the other team has won the bingo. They they got a whole line, and it is crazy how a fucking spoon they were. I, I don't even want to go into details, but yeah, the uh, event started on Friday. It is now the next Friday, so a whole week went by, and yeah, they got the bingo line. I think they said something about doing a blackout after someone got a line, so... I'm not sure if I'm going to go too hard in the blackout because I do still want to, uh, you know, get a lot of these skills up to 90. So I might mix in a little bit of the bingo here and there. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. But I am going to go ahead and do some more CG. All right. I am back to pickpocketing these vires until I get to 90, which shouldn't take too long, maybe a couple hours. But it's also a part of the bingo, so I am still technically going for a tile if I get this blood shard. Hey, there's level 90 thieving. I think I'm just going to finish up this inventory and then move on to something else. Alright, there we go. That trip is done. No blood shards. I pickpocketed about 3500 for a total of like 1 mil. So, really not the best money maker unless you get the blood shards, but... Okay, so I am at Winter Todd, looking to get level 90 fire making, and it just so happens that part of the bingo uh, requires getting a Tome of Fire. So I'm going to go till 90, maybe get a Tome of Fire. If not, that's all right. We're here for XP at the end of the day. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking died at winter time. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, I got rewarded though. I got rewarded. Fucking genie. Thank you. Dude, I got 850 agility for dying at winter time. Dude, I fucking love it. Oh. <laughs> 88. 
All right, I am gonna open these chests right now. All right, and we got nothing but burnt pages, unfortunately. 89. Oh, that is 2100 total level too. Look at that. Moving up in the world. All right, I just got the, the crates that I want to open up before I get to level 90. So, yep, just going to go ahead and open them. Hey, we got a pyromancer hood. Which is pretty cool. I don't have to wear the Santa hat anymore. <laughs> Two pairs of worn gloves in a row, okay. Alright, and the last three. And we get nothing. Alright, that was uh, pretty successful, I would have to say. I think I only need two more pieces of the outfit, the pants and the feet. And then I have the whole Pyromancer outfit. So that is pretty cool. And that is level 90. I'm gonna finish this game and then open up these crates and move on to something else. All right, here we go. Hey, we got the Pyromancer robe. So I believe, uh, what, well, we just need the boots now, I believe. Another Bruma torch. All right, I'm going to trade this Bruma torch in and get something else. All right, what did we get? You seeds. Okay. Hope that is level 90 and we got two more pieces of the Pyromancer set. So, and I guess I did 60 crates. So it was worth about 1.5 mil. Okay. So I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, but I went to miscellaneous. I hadn't collected there from a while and I... Picked up a lot of herbs that I'm going to go through and get some herb lore levels on. And if I don't hit level 90 with these, which I highly doubt I will, then I will buy the rest of the supplies that I need to get to level 90. All right, let's see the damage. A little over a mil, I would say. But at least we don't have to make a bunch of unfinished potions. 85. All right, and after making all those potions and selling them, I am uh, now at 92 million gold and a little over halfway to level 86. So yeah, let's uh, buy some supplies to get to level 90 Herbalore and see what the damage is. All right, I'm going to start off with 5,000 Snapdragon potions to make some super restores. And of course, I need to buy the same amount of spider eggs. All right, so I had to up the ante for the Snapdragon potions, but that cost uh, about 39 million for that and about 3 mil for the red spider eggs. Let's see how much XP this gets us. I'm also down to 50 mil. Just spent 42 mil on Herb Lord. We'll get a lot of that money. Well, we'll get some of that money back uh, when we sell these potions back. 86. 87 all right let's look at the damage uh 40.5 mil back when i spent and i only spent like 42 mil on the potion so really didn't lose that much money all right and there is another 5,000 potions to make 88 89 all right and that is that batch sold for 37 million we're now at 85 million, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy the rest of the supplies to get me to 90. All right, there we go. The last batch, if I... Well, if Brunelite is correct, I may have to go in and buy a couple extra, but we'll just have to wait and see. And level 90 herb lore. Also, remember all those mahogany logs that I had? I uh, did plank make, and now I have um, all mahogany planks as well. So we got about 21,000 planks that I can go ahead and use on construction. I'm going to start with mahogany homes, and then maybe switch over to like mahogany tables or something once I get all the collection logs. Okay, so I am here looking at the shop, and apparently I have 419 points already. And if we look here, I already have obtained the helmet, the boots, and the plank sack. So I just need a supply crate, the blueprints, Amy's saw, and the rest of the outfit. So all in all, I need about 3,300 
more points to green log the mahogany homes tab not sure if all the planks that i have will be enough for it hey level 84 construction level 93 farming level 85 level 86 all right and i had to afk all day so I did some star mining for the, like the first time since they updated it and I have 14.7k stardust now. So I believe that is actually enough to go ahead and buy the full set for the golden prospector. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And here we are, let's go ahead and buy one star fragment that is the collection log slot. We'll buy a second and a third and a fourth. And that should be all the pieces. And now, if we equip the thing, we look golden boy. There we go. We got it. We still have 2,700 left as well. So I'm just going to buy all the bags of gems in the world. And we got a decent value, I would say. I'm, I'm not sure how much it all adds up to be. I guess I will go ahead and check. Okay, adds up to 200k of gems, which I'm definitely going to be cutting for XP, so... 87 construction. I wasn't recording, but 88 construction. 89! And there is level 90 construction. Gonna finish out this contract, and then I will be done. Yeah, I didn't know this until like really late into the grind, but um, if you have the plank sack, you don't have to take the planks out to be able to use them. Um, I will show you an example. I'm just going to drop these four. Um, so I have none in my inventory, but I do have five in the sack. But yeah, you can just go ahead and use them while they're in the sack. There's no need to pull them out. I thought it was similar to like the essence pouch, but yeah, they work completely different. And uh, that is a... Uh, Pretty good to know because it's a lot less a uh, lot less clicks that you have to do during this grind but yep i have 3339 points i'm gonna see what i can buy i don't think that is enough to buy everything i might need to come back to get one or two items in the future but that is fine i used the wrong teleport but that is cool too all right but as i said we still need the shirt the trousers the saw the blueprints and the supply crate so let's get the outfit first go ahead and buy and buy we have 1900 so i'm just gonna go ahead and buy amy's saw and then a single supply crate and then we'll just have to get about 600 more points to green log this sucker in the future. Right, and there is the full outfit and the saw. We ended up getting like 30 planks from oak planks from the, uh, the supply crate. So not the best, but yeah. I have also been doing some AFK crafting in the meantime. So I'm 89 now. I know I haven't been giving you updates, but it's just been on my phone. So I got... A little over an hour to get level 90 on that and then i will move on to one of the three skills that i have left agility mining and smithing yeah i've been just cutting diamonds because it's a, a lot more afk than like making staves or um, dehyde and that's just something i prefer it's still pretty great xp and i feel like the prices of gems are at an all-time low now with the addition of desert treasure 2 bosses and the uptake to star mining so i feel like this is a uh, pretty cheap in comparison training method um but yeah i i enjoy cutting gems it's uh it's pretty chill and i like it got about 3300 to go so i will see you all in a little over an hour you know i totally forgot but i still have cooking to do and since i'm cutting here at the myth guild i'm just gonna do cooking right after uh after crafting since i'm already here shouldn't take too long i'm pretty much 89 already so do a little one tick kabam bams you know i got like 15,000 of them in the bank so might as well cook some fish and uh, yeah just get it done oh yeah and i still have uh, like 13,000 mahogany planks left so um probably just gonna end up keeping them but if i do get in a pinch for some money i might sell them and there is a level 90 crafting. I overestimated how many diamonds I would need by just a little bit, not too much. But all right, let's go ahead and get to cooking. This shouldn't take too long, honestly. Level 89. 
and level 90 cooking. Very nice. All right, I am back at the Relica rooftop and I'm just gonna do some agility for a little bit. So the answer to six is, agility. Is that All right, I am going to switch it up and try some hollow sepulcher. I've done like three runs maybe in the past just to try it out, but it was, uh, the servers were really bad at that time, so I just stopped doing it and haven't bothered to come back since. But yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing. I just uh, pasted a bunch of tiles to maybe help me learn, and that's what I'm going to do. And if I like it, I will do it more. If not, and I find rooftops more enjoyable, then I will do that instead. Hey, a strange old lockpick. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I've only done like, I haven't really done that many. I'm not sure how rare they are though. Let's well, see, so yeah, that was that was eight floor fours and I got a strange old lockpick. So I would say that's pretty good luck. All right, I am going to buy my first item, which is the hollowed grapple. That should make it to where any of the grapple things that I do does not fail and it saves time on it as well. So, yep, still a lot more to buy but i'm actually having a pretty good time with the hollow up i thought i would wasn't gonna enjoy it as much as i am but it's actually pretty good another strange lock pick wow yeah i'm not sure how common these are but uh i seem to be getting them left and right okay so it the strange lock pick is a one in 200 from the first floor a one in 120 on the second a one in 90 on the third and a one in 60 on the fourth floor which is all the floors that i can do and then if you get to the fifth floor it's a one in 40. So yeah, I would say I'm uh, pretty lucky. All right, I have another 100 tokens that I am going to use to buy the hollowed hammer. This will make it so I don't bend any more nails, so my nail usage goes down quite a bit. So that's just a little bit of added profit to this minigame. Plus it saves a little bit of time on the floors. Well, I was not recording, but there is level 94 farming. Enhanced crystal weapon, see right here? Fucking rubies. Another strange lockpick, what the fuck? All right, the next thing I am going to buy is the hollowed symbol. The hollowed symbol, when equipped in the next slot, it will reduce the number of sacrifices required to light the Ceridom Embrasier, and it will actually speed up the walking uh, when you go through the barriers. So it will speed things up a little bit, and it actually looks pretty cool. 100 Ligma? Yeah, he's gonna smoke me, bro. I'm running. All right, the next thing to buy is the Hollowed Focus. When you have it equipped in your offhand slot, it will guarantee the success of conjuring the portal flames, regardless of the spell used and the player's magic level, and it will also speed up the process. So, yeah, we just have uh, one more of the items to get now, which is the Hollowed Ring, which... This prevents uh, any damage taken when you fail an obstacle, which is actually pretty cool. And it will teleport you instead of you getting hit and send you back to the start of the obstacle, reducing the time penalty. So um, that can be useful. But I am using the Ring of Endurance. I'm not sure how like important the Ring of Endurance is, but I might just end up keeping on the Ring of Endurance. I got myself 300 more hollowed marks. I'm going to go ahead and buy a hollowed ring and one hollowed token. Ari said what the ring did, but the token essentially just gives you one extra minute on any given floor that you are on. So this could be useful when I'm learning floor five once I get to level 92. But until then, it's just going to sit in the bank. As for the ring, I'm going to try it out. I'm not sure if I'll like it better than the Ring of Endurance, but we shall see. It didn't show it because I was entering the next floor, but that is level 87 agility. Right, I had to AFK all day, ended up doing some star mining, and I got 8,300 stardust today. I also hit level 88 mining. So yeah, getting closer and chimping away to that level 90. But that brings me up to a total of 22,000 Stardust, and that is after purchasing, you know, all the Prospector uh, things. So that's uh, probably a decent amount of gems. I'm just going to keep saving them up and 
Yeah, do a huge shopping spree in the future whenever I want to do some crafting or something. Alright, as you can see, I'm really close to a mining level, been doing a lot of stars. I've had a lot more AFK time than active time as of lately, but I am getting pretty close to an agility level. And that may lead you to wonder why the fuck I'm wearing a runecrafting outfit with a goddamn dragon axe. Um, and if you look at the top left of the screen, that would hint at... I am going to do a couple of elite diaries that um, I have the requirements to do or can boost to it easily. So that is going to include Falador, Karamja, and Varrock diaries. So... It shouldn't take me too long to get all these diaries done, and it's going to be 150,000 experience I'm, I'm able to put into agility, which is about three hours of hollowed sepulcher for me at the moment. So definitely efficient to do these uh, diaries right now um, for the agility experience, because the more agility experience that I get for free up until 92 is better. Because once I get to 92, Hollow Sepulchre is going to boost experience rates much better. And the profit to be able to get the Ring of Endurance from the Hollow Sepulchre is uh, going to help out a lot too. But yeah, I am just going to go ahead and get started on these diaries. There's really not much to do. Um, but yeah, I will see you when I get these diaries done. All right, bunch of money on the floor, but we got a task. Hurry up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up before anyone sees. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ah! All right, so we could talk to this guy. He's going to tell me all about the shit that I'm going to get. And I'm going to get the antique lamp that we're going to put immediately into agility. So there we go, 50k agility, two more diaries to go. Now the rewards, I'm going to get the Fowley Shield for, which gives me 100% prayer restore twice a day. The tree patch in Falador will never get diseased, which is good for me because I do not like paying fucking coconuts to, you know, um, ensure that they don't get sick. So that is like 20 less coconuts a day for me, which is awesome. We also get an increased chance at receiving a higher level ores when cleaning pay dirt. The roll for each ore type is increased by like one percentage point, so I don't do any mother load mine anymore really, so there's... This kind of this is kind of useless now because star mines are the fucking meta. And we also get a alternate amethyst mining spot. So I actually probably will use that in the future because uh, I am getting pretty close to amethyst mining. As, as you saw, I'm almost level 89. So I'm at the point where I'm on the edge of being able to consistently boost with it with a light bearer. But here we can talk to this guy. We can talk about the achievement diary. He's going to give me a whole bunch of shit. And hell yeah, we got this XP lamp that we're going to put directly into agility. That is 50,000 more XP. We are now level 88 agility. Other things that the Karamja diary gives is a 10% chance of receiving two agility arena tickets instead of one. You get free usage of the Shiloh Village's furnace. You get free cart rides. You get free access to the Hardwood Grove. You get access to the Stepping Stone shortcuts leading to the Red Dragons and the Brimhaven Dungeon. Red Dragons and Brimhaven will now drop Red Dragonhide Noted. And then all Metal Dragons in the Brimhaven Dungeon will drop their respective bars in Noted form. You can toggle this on and off if you want to. You also get one free resurrection per day in the fight cave not the inferno just the fight cave and you get double toggle from the fight cave the inferno and the tazar ket wreck challenges as well so yeah lots of benefits from this diary i would say although i won't be using a lot of them but the ones that you know i am gonna use is actually really useful so all right, I believe I have everything I need now for the Varrock Diary. I do not have the 95 cooking or the 89 smithing, but I do have the ability to boost those up. The cooking is going to be kind of an RNG festival. I bought 10 Chef's Delights, so 
hopefully that's enough if not i can spend some more money on it but they are kind of hefty in price but i will go ahead and make this super combat potion right here and that is one diary done already which saves me a couple inventory spots for what i am about to do here in a couple steps the next one i need to be doing is i guess yeah we we should probably go we can do uh cook summer pie on uh i think the lunar spell book so let me go change spell books real quick and i'll uh, i'll get that done yeah if i use the uh bake pie spell it actually guarantees that i don't burn it so yeah that is gonna help out a lot and i'm just gonna take out every single chef's delight that i have and hopefully this is enough all right so let's go over here i don't think i need to be in this specific room but let's go ahead and try to uh get this boost so that is 96 cooking so first try actually which is very very nice there we go all right so that is the achievement done and i actually <laughs> um i can actually sell the rest of these chef's delight which is nice because they're actually fucking expensive i was hoping i wasn't gonna have to go through many of them but yeah they're fifty-seven thousand um coins a pop so yeah pretty expensive but definitely worth it oh yeah let's uh drink the kovac scrog and then we can do it we need to make uh, rune dart tips where's the dart tips there we go dart tips 89 oh my god Oh, this is where I forget about that. The Kovac Scrog only gives a plus four. Fuck. I didn't think about that one. I did this last time too, where I thought it was a plus five, but no, it's a fucking plus four. Ah, son of a bitch. Um, I'm in a predicament now, ain't I? Well, I guess I can just go do smithing for a little bit and get the uh, get to 85. Shouldn't take too long, but let me uh, let me go sell these off real quick. And I'm actually going to do the rest of the diary before I do that, since I already have everything in my bank pretty much. Bam! And there's the earth runes. We did it. All right, let's go do some smithing for a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. At 216,000 XP till I get to 85, and that will let me plus four boost for the diary. So I'm thinking like an hour or so at the uh, at the blast furnace. All right. Yep. Just going to be doing this gold that I've gotten from wherever the fuck I got it from. Honestly, I, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've uh, since I've uh, been here, but this is just gold I've gotten over time. So, yeah, just going to go ahead and use it. I'm pretty sure I have just enough to get the level. And, you know, if not, then I will... Uh, use the mithril and the adamant that i have as well okay so hear me out i've been doing a little research on the wikipedia and if i stick around and do smithing oh i just missed the uh the goldsmith experience but that's okay if i stick around and do smithing till 87 then i will be able to boost for two more elite diaries which in return gives me 200,000 agility experience and this is actually uh not wasting time this is actually uh giving me less time to get to base 90s because i you know i still have to get to level 90 smithing anyways so by doing this and then boosting for those two uh, diaries, then that will give me an extra 100,000 XP. So minus two hours of agility, which, uh, I mean, two hours is two hours. So I think I'm going to do that. I definitely do not have the ores and stuff for that, but I'm going to make all these ores into bars. And then I'm probably going to head over to giants foundry, which is, uh, where I plan to do the rest of my smithing adventures, at least until I get all the collection slots there. But I want to make all these, uh, ores into bars first. It is also pretty nice doing something different. I've been doing the agility for, I don't know, it's, I feel like it's been over a week of me doing it. I kind of have lost track of time. It's been like, it's been like a month since I've put out a video. I didn't realize this grind was going to be this long, but you know, um, in hindsight, I, I realize now that it should have taken this long, especially with uh, some of the methods that I decided to use instead of going for a faster alternative. But it is what it is. I enjoy the methods that I do and 
yeah, I'd rather spend more time doing those than uh, less time doing something that I don't like. So, a hey, level 85 smithing. All right, got 3,500 reputation points. I came back and I had like 1,600 from the last time I was here. So, yeah, just going to go ahead and buy these smithing gloves. And I can actually combine these um, with the ice gloves to get both of the effects on it so that is uh, pretty good there we go combine them and we got the smith gloves eye but yeah each piece of the smith's outfit gives a 20 percent chance to increase the speed of a smithing action at an anvil this works during the game as well and when you have all of the set worn it increases to 100 percent so uh yeah that is pretty nice and will make Giant's Foundry go by a little bit faster. Hey, level 86 smithing. Was not even paying attention. All right, just one more level and we will be on our way and probably back shortly after I get level 90 agility. All right, another 3,500 points. I'm getting close to level 87, probably, probably like 10 more swords and then I'll be good to go. But yeah, I can buy me another piece of the outfit. I am gonna obviously buy the smith boots because that is the cheapest and it doesn't actually matter what order you buy them in besides the gloves you want to get the gloves first but um every piece gives the same benefit so and that is level 87 let's go ahead and get all these diaries done and get ourselves another 150k agility xp all right take number two let's drink the kovacs grog let's make some dart tips and then let's make the dart tips. There we go. And that is the Ver Rock Elite Diary done. Yes, we're gonna talk to you, talk to you. Text, text, text. Give me the lamp. Agility 50k. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna get the Ver Rock Armor 4. This is gonna be this is gonna give me a 10% chance of mining two of any ore, including amethyst. Um, with some exceptions, which I'm sure uh, are ores that I'm not even going to bother mining. Also, there's a 10% chance of smelting two of any bar from two ores simultaneously when using the Edgeville Furnace. And this armor acts as the prospector's jacket for the purposes of, you know, getting the set bonus and stuff. Zaf will now sell us 120 battle staves every day for 7k each. And the Skull Scepter will now hold up to 26 charges which could be useful whenever I do uh, a huge clue grind, I assume. All right, we got to uh, actually, you know, plant some herbs. I, I never plant herbs. That's why you see a bunch of grass, but that is all right. All right, and we shall wait for that. So it says it's going to be done at 1951. So yeah, honestly, not even that long. By the time I get the rest of these tasks done, it should be just about done. Um, so on to the next one, which is Ice Barrage and Castle Wars. Okay. All right. And that was Ice Barrage and Castle Wars. That was a pain in the ass to get into a game. Um, but yeah, here we go. Okay. I uh, unlocked that door and that was uh, apparently a, an elite diary achievement. All right. So I got to do Fishing Trawler to get a Manta Ray in order to cook it um so yeah it's about a 70 like six percent chance to get one from a fishing trawler so let's just hope i'm not here for too long because there is a chance i can burn the fucking fish too so um yeah let's just hope that doesn't happen just get it on the first try forehead all right first trawler net give me the manta ray oh we got 11 Let's go. Oh, they're on the ground. Okay, because I, I didn't. Okay, they're on the ground. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, so we caught the manta ray, and now we got to go cook it in Port Cazard. Where can I cook? I... Oh, okay. There's a fire right here. Cool. Uh, So let's drink this up, and let's cook these. Burn. 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 Okay, no, no burn. Okay, we got it. All right. So, oh God, what happened there? Um, yep, that is another task. Now we got to go pickpocket a hero. All right, here's the culprit. Fuck this guy in particular. Actually, let's uh, let's just make sure we're pickpocketing him. I don't want to punch him. 
I'm a thief, not a murderer. All right. All right, give me my shit. Thank you for the coin pouch, sir. And now we got to go to Witch Haven, which is down yonder. All right, we're going to spin this crossbow string. And then we're going to go to Yanil to make it into a crossbow. All right, so we got to make ourselves some runite limbs. So let me drink this Kovacs Grog. Um, runite limbs right there can use this and we can make a crossbow stock i believe and then we can just combine them make the rune crossbow and then the rune crossbow stringed and that is another one so i just uh, have to get this patch which should be done i believe so let's go over there and check that up hopefully it did not die oh it's on three of five. Oh, well i still got some time then let me go do some more diaries and then maybe by the time I get those done, this will be done. Okay, so it has come to my attention that I need some chewed bones and those can only be obtained from mithril dragons in the ancient caverns. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use the Karamja Gloves 4 for the first time and go over to Duradel. I believe I have around a thousand points, so what I can do is go to rewards. Let's go ahead and unlock Mithril Dragons, and then I'm going to spend 120 points to extend them because I don't know how long it could take to get the chewed bones. And I still have a thousand reward points, so I actually have more than what I, uh, I had so I'm just going to skip and try to get me that task all right we got 27 mithril dragons so um maybe getting since he doesn't really give much um maybe just doing it off task is fine but yeah because I I mean I ran through quite a bit I mean I canceled eight tasks so that's like 240 points right there um, alone so yeah I'm not sure if it was worth it but at least I got the task for this one and maybe we get lucky and just you know go ahead and get it and you know what I still haven't sold this armor seed so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick make a quick buck and then use this money on a dragon hunter lance which I plan on keeping 35 million down the drain, but we now have a Dragon Hunter Lance again. It has been a long, long time since I've had this bad boy, but it looks so good with bandos, I might say. All right, let's go kill ourselves some Mithril Dragons now. Yeah, so I've never really killed Mithril Dragons, maybe besides in like Dragon Slayer 2. Um, don't really know what they have to offer. All right, but I assume it is pretty similar to most dragons where you just protect magic and pray piety which uh you know i didn't right there so i uh, i take some damage and that was just a, a green dragon so you know fuck me um i assume they're up here um but i'm not really too sure i just know they're in here but i see the mithril rocks right here and oh yeah there they are let's go ahead and take a sip of that potion we're already down substantially from uh you know getting hit off prayer down there but we should be fine oh we get ancient pages from from the dragons that's pretty dope i did not know that okay how i mean i, I haven't even looked up the the drop tables for these things so i have no idea what's uh what's coming ahead i i guess i could look um let's see Oh, it's a 1 in 64 drop, so I guess we got decently lucky from that. Okay, I totally forgot about this, and that is why I'm back at Duradel, but you can buy a perk that gives you Mithril Bars in noted form. That way you can actually pick all of them up instead of just leaving them on the floor. So I did like a couple kills right there, like three kills, and then I just remembered that that was a perk that I could go get. So back to the Mithril Dragons I go. Hey, there's the chewed bone. All right, there we go. And we got one more for the task, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill this last one for the fuck of it. These uh, chewed bones actually have a 1 in 256 chance of 
uh, dropping a dragon full helm. And at the moment, they are worth like 74 million. So, I mean, not expecting to get it, but would definitely be fucking cool to see. Okay, so yeah, I thought I was going to like get an enemy to spawn or like a drop to end up being somewhere. But yeah, it looks like I didn't even get anything from it. But I did get the task done. So uh, that is pretty cool. We are here and we're going to catch some sharks. Um... I don't know if the infernal harpoon works, so I'm just gonna use the regular harpoon. Right, I got myself five sharks, so hopefully I do not burn these. There we go, five of five. All right, and now we gotta go to Sears Bank. Yeah, I didn't just accidentally do a lamp of agility, you did. All right, for real this time, let's... Oh my fucking god, I ate the goddamn caviar. I fucking ate the caviar. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, take three. Use. There we go. We fucking did it. Alright, let's go back to auto and make the rune hasta. I guess I could have done that uh, when I was just over there, but that's fine. Alright, here we are. Let's go ahead and drink this Kovacs Grog, and we're going to go ahead and smith up this pasta bam and now we have to get a level five. Oh shit i totally forgot about the fucking barbarian assault shit oh god damn yeah yeah we're, we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and scrap that off the list uh-huh yep 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 <laughs> all right the plant is done let me go ahead and pick these torstools I fucking did it. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Two Pints and get ourselves the diary reward. All right, give me my shit. Thank you for the XP lamp. All right, into agility. You love to fucking see it. But yeah, uh, this cloak is going to now give me unlimited teleports to the farm patch, which I will probably never use. Um, dead content, more dead content. 25% more marks of grace from the Ardoin rooftop courts, which uh, might be useful if I decide to not do Sepulchre at any point. And dead content, and um, you can hold up to a maximum of 140 coin pouches when pickpocketing, which that is pretty fucking huge. And there is one more diary that I can complete right now, which is the Western Provenance diary. But that's going to require me to kill like 700 more chompy birds. And I really just don't feel like doing that right now. So it's going to take me an hour to get like the 50k agility XP that the lamp would get me. But it's probably going to take me a lot more than an hour to actually get those 700 kills. So I really don't think it's worth it for me. The other diaries were worth it because they didn't take long and only required me to train smithing. And I needed smithing XP anyways to get to base 90s. So I felt like I was hitting two birds and one stone. But with these other diaries, they just don't align with the goals at the moment. So yeah, um, I'm done with my little endeavor to uh, procrastinate training the agility. But I will be back at it. All right, I'm about to go AFK on my phone, but I figured since I was so close to a level, I would stay on my computer until then. But here should be level 89 mining. 89 mining. R r right, right now. Right, r right, r right now. Yay, level 89 mining. Woo! Hey, level 96 farming. These uh these farm runs are are not fucking cheap. Let me tell you what. This this is my whole cash deck. After buying the Dragon Hunter Lance, I'm at 196k. I mean, I still have like my loot tab and stuff that I can sell that's probably another, you know, 20 to 40 mil that I have stashed away if I really need it, but I don't really need it right now, so I don't want to take the time out of my day to uh to sell all the stuff. All right, as you can see, this stack of coconuts, um, well, I didn't do it in no form. I have 114 coconuts left, which means I cannot do my tree run until I buy some more. And this is my cash stack. So, 
Yep, uh, time to get rid of some stuff. Um, I think the first thing I'm just going to get rid of is... Yeah, I'm honestly just going to sell the diamonds that I that I cut that I forgot to sell. Because, uh, yeah, that's like, you know, 13 mil in the bank right there. Okay, so we're, we're good now. False alarm, false alarm. I don't have to sell the bank. False alarm. Hey, strange old lockpick. I believe in number six. There we go. And this is honestly the longest day that I've uh, been able to do hollowed sepulchre 171,000 yeah so as of late I've only been able to do like a couple like one or two hours a day of agility so it's really uh slowing down this grind but um in the meantime I've been doing a lot of afk mining and I'm uh getting close to level 90 as you can see right here about 170,000 kxp I should be able to get that tomorrow because it's a big afk day for me tomorrow and uh then hopefully the next day I can smash out um Maybe half of level 89. I plan on getting level 89 and maybe then some uh, tonight. And, you know, Smithing's a joke. It'll go by fast, even if I'm doing the Giants Foundry. But, yep, that's just a little update. We're really close to a level, so I shall see you in just a little bit. And there is level 89 right there. So, here's to, like, I don't know, the next eight hours or so of my life. Maybe ten hours. Strange old luck pick number seven. Look at that. We are actually like 150 hollowed marks away from unlocking the full graceful set from here. So that's exciting. I have had this purple set of graceful uh, since the start of this YouTube channel. Um, and even longer since uh I, I had this count for a couple months before i started the channel but yeah um it'll be really cool to uh finally see myself in a graceful set that is not purple Wow, yeah, I, I really like this. This looks so sick. I mean, just all black. That is just drip. And it's very nice to uh, to just see a different color, like I said earlier. But yeah, this uh, honestly feels so fucking dope. I love the color black. And uh, the little red right there makes it, uh, makes it pop out a little bit. But all right, we still have 289,000 more XP to go. So, uh... Yeah, maybe in the next uh, couple days I should have it, honestly. And there it is, level 90 mining. The end of a long, long journey. I've been doing like 87 to 90 mining just through mining stars alone. So um, I've definitely had a lot of AFK time uh, while watching football and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, two more skills four more levels to go and we will officially be base 90s okay so yeah i got 46,000 stardust and i'm just gonna buy all bags of gems because that seems fun to me so yep just gonna go ahead and open all of these bad boys up and uh see how much uh, money it's worth too i'm interested to see that And there we go. Holy shit. I was not expecting that many. 3,078 sapphires, 2,100 emeralds, 700 rubies, 186 diamonds, and 33 dragon stones. All totaling up to like 3.3 mil, but um, that is actually some pretty decent crafting XP, I might, I might say. That is going to go into the bank for future use, I would have to say. And there we go, level 90 agility. It has been a long time coming. Uh, if my voice sounds a little raspy or something, I have come down with an illness. And uh, yeah, so this agility is taking a couple more days than I uh, originally thought it would. But because I spent a lot of my time while I was sick, uh, just doing a little bit of mining here and there. But uh, yeah, that's level 90 agility. And we just have some smithing to do 
and we have ourselves base 90s and we'll have a uh, total level 2140 as well yep yeah, let's uh go back to uh giants foundry all right another four thousand points and i'm just going to go ahead and buy the tunic that will leave me just with one more smithing piece to get and that is the trousers and then all i will have to buy after that point is the colossal blade the double ammo mold and then one of each of these three which is a uh, pretty cheap relatively so i'm not sure if i'll get all the points um by the time i get level 90 but but I'm definitely doing Giant's Foundry uh, post-90 if I do not uh, have all the points to green log it. Yay, level 88. All right, and another 4,000 um, Foundry reputation right before we hit level 89. So there we go. That is our full outfit now. So we are looking nice and cool. Yeah, I guess I'll see you in like one sword for uh, for the level. Hey, level 89. Hey, level 97 farming. Look at that. All right. And once I hand this in, that should be enough to get me to level 90 smithing. Look at that, boys. We, we finally did it. Everything's in the 90s. Let's go. Yeah, my, my voice is probably a little little raspy and fucked up, but I, yeah, I'm so happy about this. I, I don't even know what to say. This took so much fucking time. It's been probably almost a month and a half since I uh, posted the last video, and I've been grinding every single day to, uh, to make this happen. But yeah, this was about 400 hours of progress in one video, and uh, this is definitely by far the most hours I've ever put into a video, so um, thank you for watching, and if you like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more in the future. My name is Foley, and uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Peace.